Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. I'm going to show you uh, what to do when you run into a uh, copper line that's a water source for the house. We are digging along here, hit the copper pipe, the pick uh, pickaxe went right into the pipe. Water started blowing out, I had to turn the water meter off. This water pipe, this water main to the house is approximately six inches deep. And that's uh, why we hit it you know normally they're a foot to you know 18 inches deep this happened to be about six inches so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna cut on both sides of where the hole was in the pipe this is a three-quarter inch copper I think it you know the way copper works is they go in letters letters like KL um, L is a little bit thicker gauge copper than the L I think I just got some L L uh, schedule copper pipe here it's pretty heavy duty anyway when you get when you prep this pipe you want to sand it really well um, inside and out of your couplings and the outside of your pipe so that's what we're doing here we have uh, some flux we have uh, some solder and I'm using map gas for as for the torch so you put a little flux on all your fittings and all the pipes both sides I used one coupling it had uh, no hub so you could slide it you know all the way onto the pipe and then slide it back those were kind of in confined quarters here so this one three-quarter cup I put on there I slid it all the way back on one pipe and then slid it back over the other pipe and now it's ready to uh, it's ready to heat up and solder together the key to soldering is uh, making sure that there's no water in the pipe if you get any water in there at all it's not gonna work so whatever you gotta do to get the water out is what it's gonna take to make the solder uh, work so a lot of times if your water uh, meter or a valve a lot of times water valves they don't shut off so you have to actually go to the meter because usually those are those valves are in better condition so you, know, you turn it off at the water um, meter and if that doesn't work and it's still dripping then you have to actually take the water meter uh, you got to unscrew it and just let it leak at the uh, fitting closest to the meter and then you can get your solder and then you can screw it back to the meter and a lot of little odds and ends you can do to make sure you don't have water in there.